you said two words that in your prayer that matched what I got prior to praying. And it's actually one of the quotes from Henry Nowen. I think we're just going to diverse a little bit into just that prayer. Kind of let's dive into it. Henry Nowen had a book called Can You Drink the Cup? And the, the cup is the cup of sorrow, the cup of joy. And he said it's actually one and the same. It was such a beautiful, sweet flow because to have an understanding of that just by itself sounds completely opposite. But when you live it, when you go through it, and all of us have experienced sorrow in our lives. I think every human being has. But once we go through it and call it the dark night of the soul, call it an illness, call it a divorce, a separation, a loss of children, money, spouse, whatever it might be, house, when it comes back to us and we reach that state of joy, God is in the sorrow, God is in the joy. And that is, I call it the mature, enlightened one that actually has an understanding of that. So when either season in which we're walking today can be a gift in itself, but you have to have wisdom in knowing that. Because there's always in our lives uh, the cross points or the breakthroughs. You know, the only way you get through the breakthroughs is to be broken in a sense. And it's usually in that struggle that all of us find ourselves and we question, is there a God? Our topic tonight is God desires to heal us, but heal us of what? (laughs) You might have an illness. Sometimes there's a lot of pain with that. Sometimes it's pure joy. I can be playful and myself, but when that pain shows up, then it's like, whoa, it's my tone changes. Sometimes it gets overwhelming and it just, it overtakes my emotions. All right, then I I have to dial back and I I appreciate the candor because then it told me I can shift. It's in the shifting, then we become, I call it the light of Christ, then it's his grace moves through me, not me trying to fight it through. And we all have that tendency to fight the battle. I can do this. Scriptures that can do all things through Christ, not through Paul. So it's in that equation that we really have to bring the spirit of Christ into all situations, good or bad. 